welcome to Iowa. Thanks for following along, everybody. Good to see you all again. So I hope this uh, thing's working here. I don't uh, have any side tone in my ear, so I don't know if you can hear me or not, but I hope you can. Uh, in the Ag Cat in Iowa, spraying the corn. Welcome to corn country. So first of all, I wanted to thank you all for uh, all the views on my last video. That was insane. Like last time I looked at it, it was over 500,000 views, which is like mind blowing. So uh, thanks for following along, all my new subscribers. I'm Scott Palmer. Welcome to uh, my flying uh, vlog. So I got tons and tons and tons of comments on the last video, asking me tons of questions all about uh, how this all works. So I'm gonna try and take you along with me today and uh, give you guys a little bit more insight of exactly what I'm doing. Uh, I'm about uh, half a mile out from the field. I'm kind of starting up to on a right base to a landing or a right base to the cloth. Got my left hand on the money handle, which uh, turns on the spray tank. I just got to prime it. A thousand feet out, I'm turning my self in right now. Coming up on the field right now, and the spray is on. So the handle's forward, and I'm looking down the field at the light bar, and outside of the... Coming up on the edge of the field, the spray handle goes off, I hit cross advance on my right thumb, and I climb out of the field. So the cross advance tells me that my next cross is 1,240 feet over to my left right now. So I kind of fly out of the field about 2,000 feet, and uh, I start my turn. Now 700 feet off my next block, so I can come around and go for it. Look it out visually and in the light bar to give me a reference. Turn in, 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 so, by leaving the west and the rolling wheat hills, which are super fun to fly in, I've come out here to Iowa the first, the first time, and I thought it was just going to be all flat cornfields. And it is for the most part flat, but there's trees everywhere, power lines everywhere, antennas, windmills. It's been insane, man. This is uh, the most technical flying I've ever done. I got asked where, are you flying the same pattern? How do you know where to go? Well, I have a GPS in front of me that tells me where to go. And no, I don't fly over the same thing twice. 
I just step over 50 feet every single time. And I don't slide back and forth. I step from one side of the field to the next side of the field, doing this big race track, a big circular loop. That way I don't run through my own cloth and uh, get the chemical on the airplane. So I have this little light bar in front of me, and it's attached to the GPS that's inside the cockpit here. We set up each individual field by dropping pins or points on the field, and that's how it knows where the field is and makes my boundaries where I fly. And then it sets me up on a straight line course through the field, and I can advance like I call this loss. So I set this loss up, and I fly down, and I try and be as accurate within five feet. It's my GPS is accurate down to one foot, but uh, sometimes it's turbulent, wind, that sort of thing. We kind of wish we wash around at about five feet. to put to bed a little bit of uh, the misconceptions of what we're actually spraying on the fields, how much the quantity sort of thing like that. So first of all, this is Ryan. He's also a uh, commercial pilot and uh, he's helping me load the plane this season. He's uh, getting ready to uh, step into a ag plane and uh, do what I do. So Ryan, it's, it's really teamwork, right? So we have the plane, the pilot and the loader and uh, we're who uh, make everything work. So. Everybody keeps telling me, and they're not everybody, a lot, I get a lot of comments saying, oh, I'm spreading the poisons across the ground, or I'm pumping gallons and gallons of chemicals uh, across the world, the surface of the earth, I'm poisoning the earth, but I'm just gonna show you. So see this right here, how many ounces is this, Ryan? 6.7. So this is 6.7 ounces of fungicide, not poison, fungicide. It, it kills the fungus in the corn, and it also increases the yield because now there's no fungus in the corn. The corn can grow the ear bigger, by about 10 to 15 percent and in a year like this where over 10 million acres weren't planted of corn because we had such a wet winter that that actually really helps the small town farmer you know it's not like we're working for big chemical companies or that like that we're working for a farmer who's just trying to increase his yields and make money to feed his family so how big is an acre ryan acre oh shoot i didn't even look okay it up. it's easier uh, five acres is one city block so five of those would go on one city block. I'm just gonna get really close. It's how many ounces again? Six ounces. Six point seven ounces. Yeah. And then we dilute this with water. How many how much water for one acre? Three gallons per acre. Three gallons per acre. So this is two and a half gallons for size reference, right? So that much fungicide goes in this plus another half per acre. And in this plane I can take a hundred and twenty acre load. So what that equates is I put, or Ryan puts, two and a half of these in, so 6.3 gallons or something 6 like that. 6.3 gallons total. To 300 gallons of water. 360 gallons of water. I stand corrected. 300 I just fly the airplane. 360 and pull on the little stick and make the little fan go. 360 gallons. I stand corrected. I just fly the airplane and pull on the little stick and make the little fan go faster. <laughs> um, so gallonage water-wise, what 300 gallons of water looks like, your average bathtub is 30 gallons. That's a, that's a lot of water that we're putting over. Mostly water we're spraying.
tell, like, it's, it's fairly mellow on a field like this. Like, my turn is 1,200 feet. That's just because it's a big field, and that's, uh, I'm able to do a 1,200 foot turn, which is fairly easy on the body. Somebody in the last video asked me, like, oh, you pull a lot of cheese. And I didn't think until I got to Iowa and, like, have these tiny little fields and have these really tight turns sometimes. Man, I've been pulling a lot of cheese. I've been flying a lot of hours. It's been intense, let me tell you. So how many of you guys are coming to the Reno Air Races? Soul Drags are coming. We're gonna be racing my tin box head to head with some other boys. Probably gonna get my bum handed to me thanks to uh, Steve Henry and those guys who are putting a lot of money into their uh, airplane. Or not money, but a lot of time. And I've just been flying crop dusters all summer, so I haven't been able to uh, modify my tin box at all. I'm about to put a new panel in it, a new GRT avionics panel. I'm pretty excited about that. Another good uh, comment I had was, uh, are you, aren't you worried about drones going to take your job? No, I'm not. So I haul 4,000 pounds off the runway. A drone right now, I think they're uh, limited to 50 pounds. I just talked to a drone operator who's trying to do ag with his drone. He gets 14 acres an hour. I do 14 acres in about two minutes. Another comment I feel like I need to address is uh, the fact that I'm killing bees. Well, like I said earlier, I don't really spray insecticide all that often, but when I do spray insecticide, here in the state of Iowa, I can spray within one mile of a beehive, which is listed on the website where all the beehives are, between the hours of 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. So uh, when the bees are out and about, we either have to spray in the early hours of the morning or the early hours and late hours of the evening. Or we just don't spray insecticide like right now. There's not even bees near me, but it's not spraying insecticide because this field doesn't need it. Well guys, the GPS is telling me that this is my last vlog. Once again, thanks to all the uh, new subscribers who've uh, just started following along. Thanks again to everybody who watched the last video and hit that like button. If you like this one, please hit the like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys on the next video. I think the next one's either going to be me putting a new panel in the uh, kit box or Maybe the Reno Air Races in September. Make sure to check it out. September 11th through the 15th in Reno. Come say hi if you're there. See you guys next time. Peace.